Today I'm going to show you how to apply Malcolm Gladwell's 10,000 hour rule to the kitchen. Why do you want to know this? Because it's going to enhance your meals, save you time, and actually lead to fun in the kitchen. Malcolm Gladwell's 10,000 hour rule states that if you want to become a master at anything, whether that's the violin, whether that's writing, whether that's horseback riding, cooking, you would need 10,000 hours of that activity to actually get to a place of mastery. So one thing that's trendy these days in the kitchen is keeping everything super simple, super quick, super easy, right? But if we look at Malcolm Gladwell's 10,000 hour rule, we actually learn we need more time in the kitchen to actually get to a place of creativity, play, comfort. I'm not saying that everyone needs to become a master chef, but cooking leads to our well-being. If we know how to cook and nourish ourselves, our families, our loved ones, we know what ingredients we're putting into our meals, and we know how to care for our well-being. Cooking is as simple as that. That's why we loved grandma's recipes, right? Mom's recipes. When they cooked for us, we had that feeling, that care, that love. So how many dishes have you wanted to try but you are too afraid to because you are afraid to fail? Failure is just another word for practice. There was this time in college where I tried to cook everything that I could to increase my mastery in the kitchen. I tried to cook a duck. I think I tried to combine three different recipes. I ended up cooking the duck for three hours. It wasn't actually cooked all the way. My roommates and I were starving by the end of the cooking time, yet there was nothing to eat. It was a completely failed experiment. I needed to cook whole duck about five or six times before I actually got it right. I'm still very far from being a master duck cooker. Cooking that duck and cooking it many times after has increased my knowledge in the kitchen by tenfold. So I think there is something to Malcolm's 10,000 hour rule in the kitchen. I might still not know how to cook duck. And I'm not saying you need to know how to cook duck either. My experience cooking duck allowed me to increase my play and creativity and fun in the kitchen. On average, we eat three meals a day, right? If each of these meals brought negativity or chaos or frustration to our lives, why would we do that three times a day? By looking to fail in the kitchen, you are increasing your play. So give it a try. Don't be afraid to mess up. Try the thing that you've always wanted to make. Maybe that's duck.